Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Another day, another storage auction locker that I picked up here. I spent a total of 140 bucks. So the most money I ever spent on a locker previously was I think $55. This is easily the most expensive locker I've ever bought. Previous owner owed $647 and did not pay for the last three months. That's why this locker went up for sale. There was seven total lockers available for auction today. Six of them sold. All right, so every single locker sold except for one. Every locker also sold for over a hundred bucks. So there wasn't anything going for five or $10 like you might've seen on other storage auction videos that I have. Uh, lots of competition out here, but I think I did all right. I don't know what's in the locker. I know there seemed to be a lot of primitives. Might have been an older antique store kind of thing. Uh, it didn't seem like it was high-end primitives, but it had that kind of vibe that that's kind of what the locker was about. Uh, so I spent 140 bucks, haven't been inside, but let's see what we picked up. Let's do it. All right, so here's the locker. Let's see what you found. So arguably the nicest locker I've ever bought, the cleanest, uh, and I see probably the most valuable in terms of actual sellability. I believe that's a part of a wash, what uh, you wash your floor with. Oh, it's upside down, yep, that's exactly, it's a floor mop. So we got a telephone in here. It doesn't look like an old one. It looks like one of those reproduction ones. But, you know, although a lot of this stuff does look like reproduction, so like that is reproduction, that's a reproduction. Um, although it is reproduction stuff, it's stuff that sells. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's reproduction that, you know, you just don't sell because people want the authentic one. But there's definitely a lot of good stuff here. So even when... The auction started uh, you know I definitely saw some number ones in terms of stuff that would bring 10 20 30 bucks that little stool right there will bring about 15 20 flea market you know you got stuff in here this phone right here will bring 10 15 bucks flea market didn't even see these weights here here are some vintage antique weights sometimes these are filled with sand but it looks like they're solid cast iron uh, the sled as well well you guys can see it. it has a consigner number so it came from an auction it's got a little jingle to it I do know the local auctioneer who uses those uh, those as well you got a nice wood box there it's about another 10 15 bucks so you know you start adding up these 10 20 dollar items and you get yourself a nice lot also saw the blow mold I did not like how it was backwards because you can't see the front but she looks to be in good shape. So not very familiar with the Halloween decor. Some of these you can get 50 to 100 on eBay. There is a, there's a, quite a few that you can. And uh, the bench. One of the most sought after style benches. Fetch about 30 to $50 flea market price. So you know, just off like five, six items you have $100. So for 140, it's not a bad locker. I did bring a trash can. So let's start figuring out what gets donated, what gets trashed, what gets saved. So I do have another bin. There's no bins in here. That's what it looks like. We have no bins. We got some boxes. Oh, here you go. Old Technic pieces. Old Technics. Here's the box. I saw the box, but it looked torn. So I guess that would go with this. And below, all these Technic pieces. I'll show you guys. Looks like you got all the older Le Legos. Just make sure they're not Duplo. They are Lego. This, I don't know what that guy is. That's Mega Block. So some are Lego, some are Mega Block. All right, so I chucked this. This was in the front. Uh, it was broken. That's not supposed to be like that. There was a piece there, and it just completely cracked. But stuff like a random hanger. What do we got in here? 
a nice piece of advertisement, maybe. 1980. Well, you know what? We'll go... Yeah, you know what? We'll put it here. Hair dryer. That would not be fun to grab, so we're going to put that over here. It's a good piece as well. This is just garbage. Do have some scrap metal at the bottom. Random bobblehead. All right. So this is going to be stuff that's going to be kept by mistake. What is this guy? broken there you probably glue that back it's kind of cool what is this an alarm clock kind of thing i home that's what it looks like radio ipod auxiliary so some probably going to be flea market items. Got another one as well. Rocking alarm clock. I don't know. These might be from like Target or something. A little birdhouse. Dollar ninety-eight. It's about a two-dollar item anyway at the flea market. People like birdhouses. There's another birdhouse right here. This one's all done up. Kind of like a church. It's got lights on it. See that? Huh. Some paper. Check out this kind of stuff. Vintage skateboard kind of stuff, some hip hop stuff. They're just clippings. Kind of like posters. What is this Metallica thing? Guess we'll go through this box. This, I think, is for artwork. I don't know the correct term for it. The drafting box, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. It's got a nice lip right there that you probably put your paper down. Put something else inside here. It's kind of neat. It's in decent shape. I guess these are the arrowheads. Broadhead arrowheads. This I don't need. Was that Bell Atlantic? So it's a reproduction, but people still like them for decoration. You have another one right here, rotary style. It looks like some more cell phone, not cell phone, uh, telephone parts at the bottom. Kind of like the receiver part. What do we got up here? Old Spice. Just going to go on a limb and say it's probably not valuable. Jurassic World dinosaur. What else we got? What is this? Oh, this is, whoa. Huh. Didn't even see that. All right. Well, we'll get to that in a second. These sell extremely well. I don't know this brand. Tama Stager, Stage Star. Was that welded together? Is that why it's like that? Doesn't look welded. These sell very, very well. Solid brass as well, but this is probably an eBay item. Hopefully you can pick up 20, 50 bucks off this. I don't know, I'm just going off my top of my head on prices. What is this? Trit set? Oh yeah, it's all in there, the whole set. Whatever that is. That 
that's another guy who bid on a locker. So everyone who bought lockers pretty much here at the same time. Hoover Vac. Good old Hoover Vac. It's all stickered up. No idea. So this is what I've seen just a while ago. <coughs> oh wow, that's got some weight. Oh my. It's got weight. It's a weight. It's got some weight. How much is that? Oh, 30 pounds. No wonder it weighs so much. I barely can lift 10. Made by Jackson. Jackson brand. What is this? Ha, much more my style. Made in USA. Five. I think these are seven and a half or 15. That Jackson one might be worth some money. Hopefully it doesn't roll off. Nice piece of concrete. I don't know what you would save that for, but hey. It's just tied on nuts in there. So you got a West Coast custom speaker. So, looks like I don't really ever check my phone when it comes to eBay prices on stuff that I buy at storage lockers, uh, especially not immediately, but Jackson Barbell Rare 30 pound. Looks exactly like it says Jackson on the left, has 30 on the right. $317 sold. Seems like they're, they're a little valuable. So that looks exactly like it. Got jacks on the left. Jacks on the left, and they have a 30 on the right. Looks like we got a winner, folks. Looks like the locker was paid off of based on <laughs> one piece of scrap metal. I have no idea if this thing is worth money. It's West Coast Custom Speaker, but I feel like even if it's like, ah, it's a little broken on the bottom, you can see it deteriorating. I think it's still flea marketed. I think somebody would just be interested just because this West Coast Customs, you guys might remember that from the very famous TV show in the 2000s. I, I watched that show a lot with Exhibit. Good old Exhibit. X gonna give it to you. I kind of want to see what's in this basket here. Looks like it's all wrapped up, but maybe we can find some things out of it. It's made out of little seashells, it looks like. Made in the Philippines. All sorts of little things, ceramics, pottery kind of things like that. You got a, this looks like a wooden mug. This is, I think, for, uh, I think it's a pink depression. There's usually a bottom piece. I think it's for lipstick. I think you're supposed to put the lipstick right there or something. I don't know. Some antique kind of thing. Let's unwrap one thing. Oh, some splatter kind of paint. I don't know what that'd be, a, a jar of something. What's this thing all about? Well, well, there was Ryan Howard's head in the other one. Alarm clock. Another Lego piece. Some more goodies in there. Got what might be a Rusty Wallace signature hat. Graphite object. Sculptor Angelo Battle. Badly. This might be an eBay item.
nothing in there. Got some plates. Index cards, other things. I just like the box. Rayo Vineyards. Mystery boxes in the back. Always fun. This one feels really light, so. Got a random shirt. What's all this stuff? Air Life. Oh. Kind of the unfortunate part about this is, I don't know, this might be some medical things that they might have had. Some of the stuff you can sell on Amazon, some of you can sell on eBay, some of you can't. Who knows? This looks like all decoration stuff back here. Yep. Exactly what it is. These are these are newer. Made to look old. There's more of that stuff. Just, you know, decorative tins. Possible Legos. That's still sealed, so that's good. You have the Lego police boat. Is this Lego? It is Lego. With a minifig. Not bad, not bad. This could have some value to it. It's not an empty box. It's empty. It's empty. What was in there? The W Samantha. Size 7. Maybe it'll be in here. Ooh, that's nice. Well, that's a shame. That I was hopeful for. Didn't even see it from the beginning, so that's something like... I mean, I guess somebody would save this box, maybe. Just because it's such a weird box, but... If you bid on lockers, I mean, there could be a stack of these in the corner. And you think, oh, you know, you got $600, $700 in shoes, and they're all empty boxes. It's part of the draw of storage lockers. Storage auctions. bottom to a small table like that. Let's hope this thing works. So it's a nice little side table kind of thing. Accent table you can put next to your couch. Put your ashtray on there. Smoke whatever you want to smoke. Drink whatever. Really? You're into artwork? This is like a Hobby Lobby thing. I don't know if this is real. Man, it's real, but it's not. That's not a painting. It's a print. 1896. It's kind of cool. I think somebody would buy that. These are nice ones, and that's a really nice piece right there. With this step still on it. I mean, you can probably get. Yeah, that's nice. Twenty twenty-five for that. The market. Maybe I'll Facebook Marketplace that. It's vintage. Maybe I'll get forty out of that. I'm gonna have to move this bench pretty soon, but I see a box here. You know what it is? I think it's a record player. This is an old one too. Yeah. Admiral. Standard broadcast. Standard broadcast. Look at the wiring on it. Wow. So, stuff like that's weird. We got a bunch of clothes, it looks like. I gotta get this. This bad boy's gotta come out. Aside from that weight, this bench is probably the most valuable thing in here. Yep, looks like a bunch of clothes. Oh, what do you got down there? Vintage Barbie. Barbie townhouse. Over three feet tall. Hmm. Buddha bean. Never heard of them, but... I guess I'll look that up. It's like all women's clothes. Ooh, uh-oh. Motorcycle stuff? Motorcycle pants? Got some jerseys? Reggie Bush? Good old Reggie Bush. 
All right. There's all this stuff. Oh no, I've seen some hats for people who follow the channel. Though I sell a lot of hats. I don't know what's in there. Oh, I thought the whole thing was all hats. Whoa, look at all those autographs. So somebody collected a NASCAR. Got a bunch of Rusty Wallace. Got an older t-shirt in there as well. That looks like a mattress. Barbie figurines, Technics. Action figures. I think that's Dragon Ball Z. Oh, we got a cord here. Nope, the whole bomb to this is all Legos. Like, probably four or five inches deep, so you probably got, I don't know, 10 pounds of Legos down there. That's a whole mattress. Barbie's in there, I can feel it, she's heavy. It's kind of nice, it's, but not one of the good ones. So it's just a weight, weight. Skateboard that needs some wheels. I'm not a skateboard guy. Looks like old clothes. All a bunch of clothes. You got a random Elvis DVD. I feel that's in there. The thing with clothes is you have to go through every pocket, make sure there's nothing else. Extra money. Something like that. What is this? O'Neill. Congratulations on choosing O'Neill. Might be having some might have some value to it. Got a jersey here. It's Bills, Giants, Patriots, Flutie. Good old Doug Flutie. This looks like a like a knockoff jersey. So some decent clothes in here. That might be a little sketchy. All sorts of stuff. All right, so almost cleaned out the locker in its entirety. It's, uh, we're almost there. Did just see that, completely missed that piece. Looks like a small mirror signed. One-sided, oh, five-dollar item. Uh, you might be able to throw in an antique ball, get 10, 15. It's very, very scratched up. I don't know what this thing's for. And it looks like this is kind of nice. It's kind of like a wicker. I don't know. You got a mirror. And what appears to be a couple, a couple doors, shutters, barn shutters. Maybe the top half of them painted. And there's some plywood behind there. So almost done, almost clearing out, almost cleaned out completely. It's been an awesome locker, that is for sure. All right, so that's gonna kind of wrap it up here. Been a very, very long day. Cleaned out the entire locker. So it's all cleaned out. It's kind of weird how there's a door in the back, but I guess some lockers are just a little bit different. Um, but all cleared out. It's been a very, very fun day of uh, treasure picking. Picked up a lot of great items out of that locker. Probably my most profitable locker to date. It's, uh, you know, you spend a little bit more money, but you don't buy a lot of garbage. I only filled up one garbage can and this box here. I uh, probably will try to sell this uh, if somebody would want that, but there's no name on it. But So really only like a box and a garbage can of garbage from an entire locker is extremely good. And it's extremely hard to kind of get lockers that you don't have a lot of garbage in them.
but it has been fun. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you guys are interested in seeing more storage auction videos just like this, cleaning out storage lockers, real life, no stage stuff, the actual real deal, then make sure and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. There will be more videos in the future. I know this spring and summer I'm going to try to really nail this on the nail this on the head because there is a lot of good items to be found and it's a, it's a great treasure hunt i know a lot of people seem to enjoy this series so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and if you enjoyed the video smash that like button as always have a great day keep living a dream peace